Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another video. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. We have one of my favorite go-to spinner baits. This is the SV3 by Mega Bass. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I've been fishing spinner baits for many, many years now, and it's probably one of the most well-known lures, but many people can agree that it has lost a lot of popularity over the years. Spinner baits come in different colors, sizes, weights, and designs. The most popular types are the Colorado or like a willow blade type, just like this one. So this one here is the SV3 by Mega Bass. Uh, this one is a little unique from your typical spinner bait because it has a stout steel wire and it features a stout hook and it's fin finished by Mega Bass. Uh, one of my least favorite things about spinner baits are when companies go cheap on the wire. Um, I hate it because you can't replace a spinner bait with any of the parts and so if a, if a wire goes bad or a hook goes bad you're pretty much done out of a you know a seven to twelve dollar investment um, so in return mega bass said you know what let's go ahead and create one of the most durable spinner baits out there in the market and uh, so they kind of uh, they beefed up the hook and they also beefed up the wire here which is uh, phenomenal and that increases your dur durability out of the spinner bait um, however, this isn't the first time we're seeing something like this. More and more companies are coming out with more stout uh, wires and also more stout hooks on spinner baits. Um, and the price of these are gone up exponentially over the years. Uh, but this is just one of the brands that I really love alongside like War Eagle and Bassman. So circling back to the SV3, um, another great thing about the spinner bait is the action. Uh, it swims true and horizontal. But one thing unique about it that I've noticed is that when you kill the lure, it kind of jerks in a certain direction, you know, and that's kind of unique because when your fish are chasing it and and that's something that fish, you know, come from behind most of the time and they're seeing it, they might not react to it right away when it's running horizontally, but when you kill it and it jerks a little bit and kind of creates an irregular uh, motion, that's when fish strike the most. So that has actually helped a little bit when fishing for bass. Moving on to the blades, uh, it does come with two standard willow blades. Um, nothing I'm too impressed about, but one thing that I really like about it is that it has these little uh, divots in here. And if you look in the light, when it is shined upon, it just kind of gives it a really shiny uh, finish, which is great because, of course, that's the point of these blades is to create a lot of shine um, in the water. So um, that is one thing about the, the blades that I do like. Uh, so it kind of gives you that scaly finish. One thing that I would like to see out of the SV3 is if they had an option for a Colorado and a Willow Blade together. Um, but that is just my preference and, um, you know, uh, that's just what I would like on a spinner bait. Looking at the paint job though, this is what I like about it the most. Uh, I mean, take a look at this. This is one of the most beautiful designs that I've seen on a spinner bait. They put a lot of time into designing this head and also putting a beautiful paint job on it, realistic eyes, and really nice blades on it too as well. Um, you can tell that they did not go cheap on this um, particular spinner bait at all, and it has a very stout hook. Um, not, not a lot of flux in it at all, and it's pretty stout, and I haven't had um, much issues with anything actually out of this spinner bait. Um, so they come in eight different colors, and um, the eight colors kind of allow you to cover you know, pretty much any situation and they come in different uh, three different weights they come in a three eighth ounce half ounce and a three quarter ounce and they retail at um 12.99 a piece so these are not cheap uh spinner baits at all these are very expensive um they are on the high end uh on the market uh, most expensive i should say uh spinner bait on the market so uh it is not cheap by any means uh, but my favorite colors are the Wagasaki and the IU. Um, I like them to have a gold blade in certain situations. And then I like a um, silver, um, both blades in certain situations, just kind of depending upon where I'm fishing, what kind of water conditions I'm fishing. But uh, I like to throw these around grass. I like to throw these in the spring and the fall transitions. I like to throw them on weed lines and around wood. Um, but these are on my go-to spinner baits I like. One thing that I like to do is do a quick size comparison between this and some of the other popular spinner baits out there. As I showed earlier, I do have some more Eagle spinner baits uh, and I really like those too as well. So let's kind of take a quick look at a comparison. So bringing in this one here, this is a War Eagle standard um, spinner bait that I have. 
And I kind of want to do a quick comparison between the two. As you can tell, the War Eagle has giant blades uh, compared to the Mega Bass. And you can just tell the size difference in the, blade, uh, the blades. And the wires on the um, on here for the War Eagles are very are a lot longer, and they're just a little bit less sturdy. So they're a little flimsy. But that's probably because they're longer, and they are a little bit um, they're not as thick as the Mega Bass as well. So you get a more compact profile with the. A mega bass which i like because fishing in wisconsin we don't have mega bass you know we don't have sorry I like the reference we don't have giant bass here in wisconsin anyway so anything from five pounds all the way down to two pounds uh this is going to be a great size and even for smallmouth versus this is going to be a bigger profile spinner bait for um you know bigger bass um you know probably down south or even bigger bass here in wisconsin so uh here's another spinner bait that i'm going to bring in uh, this is just a standard uh, spinner bait. I believe this is a booyah, but I can't recall. Uh, this is just another size comparison too as well. Again, take a look at this wire here. Very flimsy compared to the Mega Bass. Um, and of course, the Mega Bass is shorter in profile too as well. So in terms of looking at how long the the um, how, how long the blades sit on here differently, it's kind of gives you a nice comparison between the two. Um, so if you're looking in, you know, in comparison to size and, hey, how big are these SV3s compared to your normal spinner baits? Um, this is an average size spinner bait here on the right-hand side. Um, I'll bring in the War Eagle again because they're very popular. This is an average size spinner bait here, and this is the Mega Bass SV3. So taking a look at it, uh, again, your SV3 is going to be a lot smaller in profile. The blade um, does not sit as, the wire is not as long, and so you get a more compact um, uh, version of a spinner bait in the SV3, which I really like. So, um, so I talked a lot about the features and pros in the spinner baits. What are the cons? Uh, for one, the biggest thing about this is that this is expensive. This is $12.99, guys. This is not cheap at all. Means most spinner baits are anywhere between six dollars and ten dollars. And the other thing that I wish that the Southman had was to have some blades that were red. There's just something about uh, red blades in dirtier water in Wisconsin that bass love. And that is one thing that I wish that Mega Bass would have is one option that has a red blade. Unfortunately, they don't come in that, so you just kind of have to deal with it. Um, but I wish that they had that kind of an option. Um, what is my overall opinion on this spinnerbait? To be honest, it is one of the most durable spinnerbaits on the market. Um, the thick wire, the stout hook, the beauty, the beautiful fin finish, the eyes, the little act, um, the little details they put into the blade too as well is really good, and it does a good job. And it flat out catches fish, guys. So this is definitely one that you want to try and see if it's good for you in your arsenal, uh, fishing tournaments, and for fun. I'm a big fan uh, of uh, not having any tinker with any of my gear, and this is something that swims true out of the package, which I really enjoy. And so uh, this is something that you have to give a shout out to or give a shot. I'm sorry if you haven't tried it already. So um, I appreciate everyone for watching. Stay in tune um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys uh, like this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.